Hi, this is Matt with AppliancePartsPros.com. Today we'll be showing you how to repair your appliance. Remember, anytime you work on an appliance, make sure it's unplugged or the circuit breakers are off so there's no chance of electrocution. In this video, we're going to show you how to change out the Maytag refrigerator ice auger drive bar. It's going to be a very easy repair and it should only take a few minutes to show you how to do it. If you already have one of these, great. If not, you can click on the link below or get out AppliancePartsPros.com. When you open up the package, you're going to get the new ice auger drive bar. The ice auger drive bar drives the ice auger. The main reason you be changing it out is if it's damaged and the ice isn't dispensing. In order to change out the part, we have to pull out the ice maker assembly. We're going to open up the left refrigerator door. Once you have the door open, we have access to the ice container. All you have to do is press the button to release it and pull it out. Once you have it out, you can just lift up, pull it out the rest of the way and set it aside. Now that we have the bucket out, we have to remove this cover right here. There's a locking tab right in this hole right here. We're just going to take a short stubby screwdriver and come in at an upward angle like that and then press down. Then we can pull back on the cover to pull it out. Once you have it released, you can pull it out and set it aside. Next, we have to release the wire harness, but because it's kind of tight, we're going to first release the ice maker. There's a little locking tab right here that we just need to pull out on. And we can pull the ice maker out a little bit. That'll give you a little bit of slack in the wiring harness. And we can take the wiring harness and there's a locking tab in the middle that holds it together. We're just going to use the really long flathead screwdriver, reach in and press on the release tab, separate the two halves. Once you have the wiring harness separated, you want to grab this side of the wiring harness and make sure it goes over to the side so it's not blocking the way. And then we can carefully pull the whole ice maker assembly out. Once you have it free, you can pull it off the refrigerator. Now that we have the assembly out, we're going to set it on the table. I'm going to make sure you put a towel down so you don't damage anything. The ice auger drive bar is located here on the top as you're looking at it on the table. It has reverse threads, so we're going to turn it clockwise to take it off. We're just going to grab a big flathead screwdriver and get it in the drive bar. And then just quickly snap it so it comes off. Once you have it broke free, you just unscrew it the rest of the way. Once you have it off, you can pull it off the shaft. There is a washer there, so you want to make sure you don't lose that before you put the new one on. Here's the old ice auger drive bar next to the new one. If you already have one of these, great. If not, you can get it at appliancepartspros.com. To put the new drive bar on, you just want to line it up and screw it on. Remember, it goes counterclockwise to tighten it down. And then once you have it snug down, we're just going to Grab the big flathead screwdriver again, kind of give a little bit of a torque on it just to tighten it down. Doesn't have to be a lot, just get it snug. Once you have it tightened down, we can put the assembly back into the refrigerator. To put the assembly back in, you want to make sure that the rail right here lines up with the glides right there. You just want to push it back into place. And same as when we took it out, we're not going to push it all the way in yet. We're going to connect the wiring harness first. We're just going to carefully plug the two ends together so you get a good connection. Once you have it locked together, you can push the ice maker all the way in so the tab locks in. Then we can put the cover on. Just have to line it up and push it back into place so it locks in. Once you have it on, we can put the ice container back in. All you have to do is line up the rails and lift up on it a little bit and push it in. Once you have it locked in, you can close the door, plug it back in, and take it for a spin. Thanks for joining us for another successful repair brought to you by AppliancePartsPros.com. Check out our other repair videos on our site, Facebook, and YouTube.